906 Outdoors is brought to you by Cooking Wild Seasonings. Make it fresh, make it yours. Winter is a great time to be in the outdoors here in the UP, so I'm going ice fishing. And sometimes if you really want to be in the outdoors, well, you just got to sleep in it. So I'm going camping on the ice. Nine million acres of forest, 1,700 miles of continuous shoreline, 4,300 lakes, 12,000 miles of streams, more than 300 waterfalls, 15 counties, two time zones, and one area code. Welcome to the Upper Peninsula. Welcome to 906 Outdoors. It's been cold, really cold. But suddenly, the sub-zero temperatures that have held on for the last few weeks let go. A warm spell. Can it be true? Well, we're not going to see any melting snow, but it is above zero. That's warm enough to get out and cut some much needed firewood, or fix the plow truck, or to finally haul out that Christmas tree. No, I think to really take advantage of this heat wave, I'll need something more substantial. Something that involves fishing, maybe. My wife may well disagree with the rationale used in the prioritization of my list of husbandry duties, but it certainly makes complete sense to me. After all, I can cut firewood in the cold, and I think those needles can hang on for at least another week. And as far as the plow truck, it probably won't snow for at least a couple of weeks. Yes, indeed, spending some much needed time in the outdoors has been moved to the top of the list. The plan? Ice fishing and winter camping all rolled into one. It's a fairly simple plan. I'll set up camp, catch some fish, cook them up over the fire, and then spend a quiet night under nothing but a tarp and the stars. The first step is a place to sleep. It's one thing to set up a quick shelter in the woods, but that becomes a bit tougher on the ice where there are obviously no trees to work with. So I'm going to build a combination sled designed to haul all my stuff and then double as a sleeping quarters. <laughs> My wife says I'm a pack rat, a collector of junk, stuff that I'll never use. I'm sure many of the guys watching right now can relate when I say that it's all good stuff, reusable stuff, stuff that has not yet reached the end of its lifetime of usefulness, stuff that any youper would dare not simply discard. Ah yes, my dear, this is where it all comes together. This is where I prove that all of the years of hanging on to make sense.
do believe my combination kitchen, living room, bedroom, haul it all, Griswold Wagon Queen family truckster is ready for its maiden voyage. Nine oh six Outdoors is brought to you by Race Driven. Well, after a short drive and a long boat with a snow bank that was a little too deep for the bike and camper combination, I arrived at my destination. I carefully picked a spot that was no different than any other spot on the lake, and stood out as the spot for absolutely no apparent reason whatsoever. A bit of unloading and setup, and this insignificant plot of ice will be home sweet home. Set up and ready for the night. Time to look for some dinner. When it comes to fishing, I've got a lot of luck. Unfortunately, most of it's bad. You can usually count on the fact that if you plan on catching fish, you won't. I indeed planned on catching fish, and I didn't. So the bad news is, no fresh fish for dinner. The good news is, I anticipated this potential snafu in my plan, and brought along some walleye my son caught a couple of days ago. Right about now is when he's figured out they didn't make it to his freezer. So it was back to the campsite with the overwhelming anticipation of a warm crackling fire, a cold UPA and a hot plate of beans and stolen walleye. There's no doubt one of the parts of winter camping that will stick in your memory the most will be the fire. It's everything. It transforms being outside in the cold into a comfortable adventure. your heat than an otherwise cold patch of snow. It's your light on a dark night. And of course, it's your stove to cook on. It's the centerpiece of the campsite and somehow it keeps you company. Today's show is brought to you in part by Rapid River Knife Works.
when it comes to this type of camping, the simpler the better as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't get much simpler than a cast iron pan, some fish, beans and a fire. Now at this point of the show, I could tell you all about how good the food, any food, tastes in this situation. I could tell you how relaxing at the end of the day, next to a fire, eating fish that didn't come from a store or a menu, is something you won't soon forget. But there's something more significant than that going on. It's not something explainable. It's something that leaves a lasting impression. A hidden unexpected realization that comes out of an adventure like this. Something intangible that you don't try to explain. It's the solitude. The solitude and the silence. Silence is golden indeed. I don't mean no phones or TVs or cars. I mean no conversation. No chit chat, no discussion of any type to interfere with what's happening to you and only you. Exactly right here, right now. Put yourself right here, right now. Feel the heat from the fire on your knees. Smell the wood smoke. Hear the crackle of the fire and the wind. And experience the silence. I know Six Outdoors is brought to you in part by Blades Bait and Tackle, your hard water connection to Little Baby Knock. I would bet that if you asked anyone who's been winter camping about the experience, first thing they'd tell you about is waking up in the morning. I can tell you that poking your head out of a warm sleeping bag on a chilly winter morning in the middle of the woods is an experience that will stick in your mind for a long time. But I've got to say, at least for me, 
I may have found something even more unique and inspiring. Starting the day peering out across the expanse of a frozen lake as the night disappears is a view, no, a feeling, that I'm sure I'll reflect back on time and time again. What a place to start the day. Well, after moving my house six feet to a new dryer location, building a morning fire, and getting a fresh pot of coffee brewing, it's time for breakfast. If you've watched enough Discovery, you've probably figured out that, well, I like food. I'm not sure what I like more, eating it or cooking it. But either way, you can count on it being part of the adventure. There's just something about food in the outdoors that makes it taste better. Is it really better? I don't know. I guess maybe it's got a lot to do with where you're eating it. Fish fry is always better at some off the beaten path tavern than at some nice downtown restaurant. A hot dog and a pan of boiling water in the stove in the kitchen doesn't say much, but put it on a stick and roast it over a fire. I think maybe it's the simpleness of it. No cabinet full of spices or drawer full of utensils. Just a pan and a fire. Maybe that's what makes winter camping so unique as well. Just a fire and something to sleep under. Just being outside instead of in. I always look forward to winter camping adventures, 
Right about up till the time I'm stuck in a snowbank with a four-wheeler, or scrounging for firewood with soaking wet gloves, or sit next to a silent hole in the ice praying for even one lousy edible fish. Then I find myself wondering what the heck I'm doing out here. What's the point? But that's always followed by a serene moment sitting alone, listening to the sounds of a fire or the wind. The sounds of the outdoors. And nothing else. All thoughts of the tougher parts evaporate like they never occurred. Yeah, sometimes it's tough to convince myself to get out here and do this. But what's even tougher is getting myself to leave. This minute brought to you by 906 Outdoors and our sponsors who thought instead of more commercials, it might be nice to just take a minute and appreciate nature. So stay in your chair, put down the remote, and just relax for a minute. Feel free to join us on Facebook or visit us at 906outdoors.com for a look at all of our shows as well as the 906 Outdoors Fishing Report, shopping, and more. Thanks for watching, and we invite you to join us next week for another adventure right here on 906 Outdoors.